So we get asked all the time if you can use Quick Show XL and Beyond XL on a Mac, and the answer is yes, you can. Quick Show XL and Beyond XL are XLaser's expanded versions of the Quick Show and Beyond software that you get from Penguin, but they're not Mac native, so how do you run them on a Mac? Well, the simple answer is, is that you end up running Windows on a Mac computer, and there are a couple of different ways you can do that. The first one is called Boot Camp, where you will literally reboot your computer into being a Windows machine. Now, the disadvantage of that is that you can't use your Mac programs alongside it, so you're either only using Windows or you're using Mac. If you want to be able to use your Mac programs, your Serratos, your Light Jockeys, what, what have you, alongside your Quick Show XL or Beyond XL, then you need a virtualizer. And there are two of them out there that seem to work pretty well. One is called Parallels, the other is called VMware Fusion. I personally much prefer Parallels because it just works easier for me. Uh, you can basically go online and download the software. There's a free 14-day trial. Uh, if you want to buy it, it costs you about 79 bucks, but it lets you run any Windows program in a Mac environment. The other piece that you're going to need is a copy of Windows. You need a genuine copy of Windows. Which version of Windows? Eh, it doesn't really matter as long as it's not Vista, anything other than Vista. I personally prefer a Windows XP, but that has no longer, uh, that's actually no longer being supported by Microsoft. So you may want to look at Windows 8 or Windows 10 or something like that. Any of those will work, just not Vista. So once you get your Parallels and you get your Windows, you install Parallels onto your computer. Parallels will then prompt you to install a copy of Windows onto your computer. So you'll literally have Windows, like the Windows desktop, running in a window on your Mac machine. Then anything that you put into your computer, whether it be sticking in the uh, DAC for QuickShow um, or a USB or whatever the case may be, it'll ask you, do you want to send this to OS X or do you want to send this to Windows? And obviously for things that are related to your laser software, you're going to want to say, I want to send this to Windows. And then the software will run right there in a window just as if it were a native Mac program. The other cool thing about Parallels is it has this thing called Unity Mode, which basically almost entirely removes the differences between OS X and Windows and literally any Windows program just runs on your Mac as if it were a native Mac program. There just happens to be Windows running behind it. If you're going to do this, the other major caveat that I would give you is that you want to make sure that you have a good amount of RAM. RAM gets chewed up pretty quickly by these virtualizers. So make sure that you have at least 8 gigs of RAM, preferably 16. Uh, that will really, really help. Uh, even though the programs themselves are pretty light, when you're running two operating systems at the same time, that extra RAM really helps you. That's how you can run either a Quick Show XL or Beyond XL on a Mac. Hope you enjoy.